Welcome to your quick bite of cloud engineering. I'm Laura, and today we're here to chat about containers. So what exactly are containers? I think of them as black boxes. Containers are individual units of virtual computing power that host self-sufficient applications removing the need for virtualization of physical hardware. Unlike a virtual machine or a VM, you don't need to install and run an operating system or manage memory. Instead, you set up your software and all of its dependencies, and the container utilizes what it needs from the underlying operating system through a virtualization of those tasks and services that an operating system provides. Think of a container as an abstraction layer, providing compatibility with multiple operating systems and various hardware. Since the engineer developing the application doesn't have to be as concerned about the underlying hardware or the peculiarities of operating systems, engineering focus can move toward building and optimizing the application itself. Input goes into the black box of a container and output data comes out. Note that containers aren't VMs, and they shouldn't be treated that way. They're meant to be ephemeral, lasting only as long as the application runs. Because the container engine abstracts the operating system, you don't need a full operating system either. It takes care of it all for you. Versions of containerization tech have been around since the 1970s with the Chi root systems process isolation, but we probably can look at Linux containers, or LXC, as one of the first true container managers out there. LXC used to underpin Warden and Docker when they were getting started, and those two containerization technologies eventually led to Rocket, that's RKT, and ContainerD, the two primary container runtimes in modern container systems. Of course, if we're gonna talk about containers today, will bring up Kubernetes, which orchestrates or deploys, scales, and manages your containers. We'll talk more about container orchestration in a different video, but suffice to say that containerization is here to stay. So what does this have to do with cloud engineering? Containerization tech is all over cloud computing, and nearly every major cloud provider has one or more offerings that use containers. If you're thinking in terms of a microservices architecture, containers are one fantastic way to deliver. Understanding how applications need to change to work well in containers also is important for you to be as successful as a cloud engineer. So take some time to read up on how to migrate all of those legacy systems. Overall, containers allow engineers to focus on building applications and general infrastructures and architectures that they can take from one cloud to another truly making cloud engineering closer to software engineering's development principles. This has been your quick bite of cloud engineering for this week. If you like this video, please share it. Sharing it and liking and subscribing, of course, helps out our channel and helps me make more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to learn about something specific, leave me a note down in the comments. I do read those or open an issue in our GitHub repo that I'm linking in the description. I'll be back in just a few weeks for another quick bite. Take care. Bye. If you have a topic you would love to have us cover here on Pulumi TV, all you have to do is go to github.com slash Pulumi slash Pulumi TV. Thanks so much.